let's look at two special cases of slope. The first is a horizontal line. You see it right there. A horizontal line has a slope of zero. And you can see why that has to be the case. You can pick any two points here. And if you think about the rise over the run, if you go from one point to another, there is no vertical change. The rise is zero. And zero over anything is zero, so it doesn't matter what the run is. If the, if the rise is zero, then the slope will be zero. So the slope of a horizontal line is always zero. Now a vertical line is different. Let's imagine picking two points on the vertical line, and it doesn't matter which two points you pick. If you try to do rise divided by run, in this case the run, the horizontal change, is zero. And you can't divide by zero. Division by zero is mathematically undefined. There's no definition mathematically for dividing by zero. So we say here the slope here is undefined. Okay, and the reason is if we do rise over run, in this case, you see these two points. The horizontal difference between those two points, the run, is equal to zero. And so that's the division by zero in the denominator there, which we can't do. Now you could say that the slope of a vertical line is infinity. This line is infinitely steep. It can't possibly be any steeper than vertical. And that's not really wrong. If you said, in this case, if you, if you wanted to say the slope equals infinity, the only problem with that is re recognize that infinity is not really a number. There's not a point you can plot on the number line and say that, that number right there, that's infinity. So the slope of a line is, is supposed to be a number that tells what the, line, the, the steepness of the line is. And infinity is not a typical number in that sense. However, this is not entirely wrong to say that the slope is infinity. This line is infinitely steep. And here we're, we're dividing by zero, essentially. Dividing by something that is infinitely small should give us a ratio that is infinitely large. And so that's what we have. If you think of the slope as being infinity, that's, that's a, a, a valid concept. And on a, on a homework question or a test question, if I were grading a paper, I would accept either of these as an answer. If you were given a line like this and asked, what is the slope? If you said it's undefined or if you said it's infinity, either of those would be okay.